Hello, hi everyone. Today in this class, we will continue the tables day three class. So in the day one and day two class, we have discussed about how to generate the tables by using data set procedures. Right? So in this class, we will discuss about generating tables by using macros. Okay. So in the yesterday's class and day before uh, class, we have seen how to generate tables um, and we have created tables by using proc report procedure everything, right? So this was our mock shell and we have created the tables based on this mock shell. Okay, but when we see here, see in the yesterday's class and day before yesterday's class, we have seen that for this gender and for ethnicity and race values we are creating the same statistics with the same procedures right each and every step is same except the variable that we are creating for okay so for that reason um to reduce the programming steps can we create a macro for this because the procedures are same right the steps are very similar and same so it's better if we create a macro rather than uh, typing all the program again and again right so if anyone is watching this video for the first time i recommend you guys if you are really new to these tables first watch day one and day two tables videos and then come to this video okay so let's start our today's session so for example see here for this age values, uh, for uh, to know the age statistics, I can be able to create um, macros because I have these statistics only for once. I have created these statistics only once. But when it comes to gender, ethnicity, and race, I have created count and the percent values for all these three variables so instead of writing the same programs again and again we can create macro for the see i'm going to leave this age statistics just like that okay so age statistics will remain like that but we are going to create a macro for this gender statistics and ethnic statistics and for race statistics and after creating all these um, three variables uh, macro statistics then the next procedure which is creating a table according to our template or the mock shell is it will also remains the same okay because we are not going to generate a macro for that now okay we are we so we are going to create macro for these three variables now okay these three are the common variables right so let's create a macro for that so to avoid confusions what i'm going to do is let's copy this program i'm not going to create a new program here i'm just going to modify the program that i have here now okay so let's open a new program and here I have taken only the um, gender program and now what I will do is so this will remain same right this data step and proc sort step is going to remain same because I didn't um, create again and again for each and every variable right so I'm going to take that here okay so it's going to remain same and my age value is also going to remain same but I am going to create the macro for these three variables which are gender, ethnicity and race. So for that here I have taken the program. So write a, uh, make a habit of writing the comments okay then it will be easier for you to understand or someone if anyone is what um checking your program it will be easier for anyone to understand okay so what i'm going to create here i'm going to generate a macro right creating macro okay so now what are the things that are common here 
in all the programs this demog1 is common and trt is also common and the gender variables see this variable names is going to change in all the all the variables for all the variables the gender variable is going to change so instead of giving gender here i can specify this as a where and every time i can change the gender right in creating a macro so let's first do percent macro okay so to create a macro here i have taken percent macro and let's give some name to my macro um i will give macro name as let's give it as prob okay so macro programming so i have given program and let's give the parameters here so can i take this demog1 it is a data set name right so can i take it as d name so whatever the macro names or the variable names that we assign it should be in the understandable format even you might forget if you give like a um, d a b c like a uh, different names you won't remember them so try to give some understandable names okay so let's give it's a data set name right so let's give d name okay no need d name equal to okay but while calling we use the ampersand set right so let's use ampersand t name and here for the trt everywhere it is same right so instead of trt there it's a by variable right so let's give it as by where so that means i uh, will understand that as the by variable so let's give it here as by where equal to and here how we will specify that ampersand by var okay and now for this gender this gender is going to like here i have the variable name gender but when i am creating for ethnicity then it will be ethnicity right if i am creating for race then it will be my variable name is race right so let's give this as it's as it is a variable name so here i will give it as ampersand var okay let's specify that here as well var equal to and this out is going to change every time right see here my out name is gen1 in the proc frequency step and here i'm going to create another uh, data set called gen2 and here i'm going to create another data set called gen3 gen4 okay it's like keep changing see every time i am creating a new data set so as it is a data set let's give this as d set 1 okay d set 1 so let's give it here d set 1 and it continues like see here it's a d set 1 let's we can we can change this here to d set 2 okay and here what is the gender for gender what i have given here where is my ampersand where for the gender variable so that is nothing but the variable basically so ampersand where and here gender 2 now it is the data set name that is a new data set that i am going to create which is d set 2 okay let's give that here and we forgot the ampersand here let's give it so let's give ampersand d set okay and here let's give so from which data set i am creating this d set to d set 1 right so let's give it here d set 1 and this will remain same but here i am going to create a um new variable right so let's give it as new okay so ampersand new let's specify this d set Two equal to new equal to comma and what else? See here, gen two. Gen two means D set two. Ampersand D set two. Okay. 
and here also we need to specify the ampersand we shouldn't forget the ampersands okay and here gender is nothing but the variable so which is ampersand where and here it is d set to and ampersand here it is d set 3 here now i am creating a new data set called d set 3 let's specify that here as well d set 3 equal to okay and this drop underscore name underscore and this tree remains the same in all the procedures and here the treatment is what we have assigned by where right for treatment so ampersand by where here okay and for this np we have specified new right so um, ampersand new and for gender what it's a variable so ampersand where okay and here again it's a gonna be d set 4 ampersand d set 4 so let's specify this d set 4 here d set 4 equal to and okay this description remains same okay because i'm not going to change this description name for all the variables statistics that we create this description is going to remain same and here this gender 3 is nothing but d set 3 okay ampersand d set 3 and here the gender is what variable so ampersand var and this description remains same but here this values changes right everywhere these values are going to change this male and female values are going to change see for the gender values i have male and female when it comes to ethnicity i have hispanic and latino and not lat not hispanic and latino and for the race i have white african american and asian okay these values i have so for that reason instead of giving this value here we can specify it as value 1 value 2 and value 3 like that right so that i can give these values while calling so let's give ampersand val 1 okay so specify that here also val 1 equal to comma and let's take this value as val 2 so ampersand val 2 and let's give that also here val 2 now you will get a question like c so your doubt is c here i have two values and here i am uh, getting the statistics for these two values but here i have five values six values so now your question is how can i do this for these six values okay so if you have six values specify this else if statement and if else statement if statement for six times but wherever you don't have those values just leave them as a missing values okay then you won't get that printed in your results okay see now according to our code dictionary we have values for asian white and african american so that means we have to generate it for three values right so let's um, mention this else if statement for three times i have given if statement and now let's change this to three and this will be val3 and let's change this gender to ampersand variable ampersand variable okay now this gender is nothing but variable ampersand where and here I am going to leave this dummy data set like that only because it's going to be same for all other data sets and this value will change for all other values right. So let's give this value name as 
so this is going to be the actual value these are the data values 1 and 2 but this is going to be the value which is the value that we have assigned here like this right so let's give that value as instead of val1 val2 and val3 we can give this as ampersand val okay and for this one let's create it so these are all the data sets that ampersand d set 4 d set 1 d set 2 d set 3 like that we have created right so the actual data set that we are creating for that particular variable give that as a d set okay then it will be easier for you to understand d set and this dummy is going to same and what is this gen 4 gen 4 is nothing but d set 4 right ampersand d set 4 okay and let's specify this ampersand d set here i have given val3 also right val3 equal to on d set equal to what else i think we have specified almost all um did i specify var equal to no i think yeah var equal to i have given i think val equal to i didn't give it val equal to we have specified that here right val equal to so i have specified it here now what is the next thing so now we have given all the parameters and everything so now let's end the macro with percent mind okay let's check if there is any uh, mistakes see we have created the name d set everything looks good to me okay so yeah we need to change this order also right every time the order will be not the same right it changes for every variable see when we are saying order for age variable it will be one for gender two three for third variable it will be three right so let's give for gender also a macro ampersand number we can give it right so let's specify that also here see i have given number equal to okay now let's create a macro let's execute this and create a macro see now i have created a macro there is no mistakes or errors okay now what i will do is let's create a gender status text by using this macro so how can we call the macro percent pro is my macro name and d name is equal to dmog1 right so here the d name is equal to dmog1 that's what we have specified right that's my data set name that's my actual data set name where is nothing but i have taken that as the variable name variable name is what we are creating it for gender right so let's comment that okay so here we are creating gender statistics by using macro gender stats by macro okay calling calling for gender stats by macro okay so d name equal to that is my actual data set name okay dmog1 and where equal to here the variable name is gender right and d set 1 is what see let's check here in the yesterday's class what we have specified we have taken them as gen 1 gen 2 like that right so here also let's take it as let's give a name as gen 1 for the gender 1 and let's give gen 2 for the gender 2 and gen 3 i hope you guys will understand what is this gen 1 gen 2 and gender 3 see here every time we are creating a new data set right see here um gender 1 data set for here to transpose we have created again gender 3 data set so in every procedure we are creating one one new data set so let's do gen 3 and here gen 4 
and this is our final data set right which is our final data set let's give it as gen okay and in the by where what we have taken by where is the by where variable by where variable right so that is nothing but the treatment is our by where trt and new is nothing but here for the np uh, we have created the new so let's give a new as the np okay it, it's going to stay same for all other so I'm, i am i have given np and what is my value one let's move it down okay what is my value one here for the gender let's check it value one is male let's cross check that with the code or dictionary also value one is male so let's give here male but how my mail values i need them to be printed with three values leaving before right so let's specify that in the quotations okay leave three spaces and give mail and for my value two is what female right so let's give in the quotations leave spaces and give female and do i have any value three for my gender value no right so let's leave it as a missing empty and value value equal to what here where i have given the value equal to this is my val right so this is going to buy my val value so here that val value is the nothing but the dummy data set that we create so that is going to be gender gender square bracket okay in the square bracket n into percent caps a but this has to be in the quotations and what is the number here age is my order number one right so for gender what is the order number two so let's give two here as my number okay now let's execute this and check let's create a gender statistics okay let's execute this one first tables let's execute this we have created a data set and now let's execute this and create a gender statistics see let's check the log no errors and it created see gender statistics values that we wanted see it's the same as that i have in my mock shell or in the template right so now we have created the gender statistics now how much time do you think it takes to create for frequency frequency and race so instead of writing all these programs again and again like this like yesterday it's better to create a macro like this right so now create for um, what is the next one ethnicity so for next ethnicity let's create it so demog1 is same here my variable is ethnic ethnic is my variable name and here as it is an ethnicity value let's give it as eth here also let's take it as eth eth2 and eth3 so it will take less than 5 minutes to create frequency uh, for this ethnicity values rather than writing entire program we can use so my by where is same 
TRT and NB is also gonna be same but here this values changes right what is the value 1 here value 1 is Hispanic or Latino and value 2 is not Hispanic or Latino okay so let's give it here Hispanic or Latino and here not Hispanic or Latino okay so this uh, I don't have any value 3 here so I'm going to leave it as empty and here what is my val here it is going to be ethnicity count of percent right so let's change this gender to ethnicity now this number order is 3 so now how much time it took for me to create this um, statistics for this ethnicity less than 5 minutes right see I have created value for this ethnicity okay like this we can create for race also let's do it for race also we can do that it's the same procedure so instead of ethnic here let's give race as my variable name let's take here RAC and here also let's take RAC2 and this RAC3 RAC4 and let's take this as RAC this treatment is going to remain same NP is going to remain same and now these values will change right so what are my values here first one is white so let's take that but let's check with our code dictionary also once but here the first one is Asian okay let's do the do that according to our um, code dictionary and also based on our uh, mock table also okay so uh, according to that let's take first one as what is the first one that they need white right let's give white here and let's take Asian here and I have third value also here what is the third value African American okay and here what is my val instead of ethnicity here my value is this one race n of percent okay so let's take race and my order here is fourth let's execute this see now I have created values for race also okay like this we can create macros and create tables okay so everything is same okay so here what are the changes that we made for age statistics we are creating it only for once so I didn't create a macro for that but here we are creating the same programs we are writing the same programs again and again and creating the same statistic values so that's why we I have created a macro here okay so until from here to age statistics it remains same but from gender to next to remaining three variables I have created a macro and this will be the same again again we have to generate the report as per the template because now this part is only done and the remaining part is creating the generating the report according to our mock shell right so that will be this then this pro this procedure is same we have discussed this procedure in yesterday's class right so if you have still have any questions or refer to that um, day two tables class see let's copy and give that here it go, it's going to execute and create the table so let's copy and try to do that 
so uh, here by using macros i have created all the three variables now everything is same let's execute this so before that let's check the variable names here i have given rac but uh, here okay let's change it to rac now let's execute this and create a macro but before that i need here i have only three variables right in this program see i have created macro for these three programs and i have uh, but i don't have a program for the age so let's copy that age program from yesterday's class so i have the age program from here proc summary to till here so now with this age program and the macro that i have created for all other three variables i am creating a table let's execute this and create a table see now i have created a table right see i have uh, got extra lines over here and a space if we don't want that we can remove that in the column okay and also i have another line over here if you could check it see here i have another line in the footnote i can remove that in the compute after okay let's remove that i don't want that now let's execute it again see now i have created the table according to my mock shell see now it everything is same right so like this we can create tables by using macros also okay so it's the same procedure for all other domains okay it's the same procedure it's the basically they will ask you whatever the statistics that they ask you for you are going to create the table in the same method but the variables changes and the statistics that you are generating for it is going to change but the procedure is same for all the domains okay thank you all bye bye